Okay. So, you're probably using your keen deductive skills to realize we made an abrupt cut there. That's because... Well... The game froze on me during one of the cutscenes here. Yep, here. Hopefully it doesn't this time. Aw, oh, man. He is just, Sovereign's just ripping those ships apart. Yeah, it I can't tell if they are even doing any damage to him. Sovereign's too strong! We have to pull back! Oh, Negative. Man. This is our only chance. Take that monster down no matter what the cost. Gotta take him down. Form up. Garrus, please use your assault rifle. Hammer's online. Come on. Clear to target. Rally round. Goodbye, friend. Or just go ahead and stick with your pulse. Good sight. And we should be done. On me. There we go. Wonderful. I think we just beat the game. Oh. Looks like that did it. Looks like we were able to uh, take down Sovereign. Destroying the Saren's body must have, uh, I guess, knocked it unconscious or something. Its shields are down. Now's our chance. Get it with it down. Got. All ships, fire! Hard on my flank. We're going in. Ooh, nice turn. Oh, that was awesome. There he goes. Boom. Oh. Uh-oh. Heads up, it's heading for the tower. Go. Oh. What happened? Did we make it out? Okay? Make it out okay? I mean, man, the chamber's just oh, it's a wreck. Absolutely destroyed. What am I looking at? Oh, looking for us. Oh, there's Liara. I recognize that blue head anywhere. Captain Anderson, we found him. They're in here. There's Garrus. Where am I, though? Take it easy. It's over. You're safe now. Okay, unfortunately, I gotta turn it down here. Turn down the sound. Turn down the epic music here, which is such a shame. Uh, I'm getting a little sick of the content ID crap here. But, uh... You know, unfortunately, there is some epic music here as, uh... Oh, they all think Shepard's dead. He didn't make it. Oh, But wait a minute. What's that? Did you see that? Could it be? Who is that rising from the ashes? It's Shepard! We did it. We took down Sovereign. And Saren. And we all got out of it alive. <laughs> I got a big smile. Yeah. Okay. And now for a little bit of a celebratory scene here, somewhat, to kind of close it out. And then end the game. And then uh, once the credits get going... I'll uh, talk a little bit about this playthrough, about this game, and about uh, what to expect when I play the second and third game of the series. Ambassador, Captain, Commander Shepard. 
Counselor. We have gathered here to recognize the enormous contributions of the Alliance forces in the war against Sovereign and the Geth. Many humans Good. lost their lives in the battle to save the Citadel. Brave and courageous soldiers yes. who willingly gave their lives so that we, the Council, might live. There is no greater sacrifice, and we share your grief over the tragic loss of so many noble men and women. The Council okay. also owes you a great personal debt, Commander, one we can never repay. You saved not mm. just our lives, but the lives of billions from Sovereign and the Reapers. Commander Shepard, mm. your heroic and selfless actions now. serve as a symbol of everything humanity and the Alliance stand for. And though we cannot bring back those valiant soldiers who gave their lives to save ours, we can honor their memories through our actions. Humanity has shown it is ready to stand as a defender and protector of the galaxy. You have proved you are worthy to join our ranks and serve beside us on the Citadel Council. Counselor, Excellent. on behalf of Humanity and the Alliance, we thank you for this prestigious honor and humbly accept. We will of need a list do, of potential Adina. candidates to fill Humanity's seat on the Council. Given all Actually, that has happened, I am sure your recommendation will carry a great deal of weight, Commander. Do and you support any one. particular candidate? Absolutely I do. The only guy who actually stuck with me here from the very beginning. We need someone with the courage to stand up for what he believes in. Someone like Captain Anderson. Mm -hmm. Him? You must be joking. Anderson oh, prefers try, to let his Dina. fists to the talking. Don't you even try. Only with you, Ambassador. Only with you. Are <laughs> you sure about this, Commander? The Captain's a soldier, not a politician. Odina, you're lucky I don't punch you as just like Anderson. We've already got too many politicians on the Citadel. The captain would be perfect for this job. Mm -hmm. I think it's an inspired choice. The Council would Good. welcome him with open arms, should he accept. I'm honored, well. Counselor. As Humanity's representative, mm -hmm. I'll do everything in my power to help the Council rebuild. Sovereign's right. defeat marks the beginning of a new era for both Humanity and the Council. Uh, not so fast. We need to beat Sovereign, but... Let's not forget about all the rest of the Reapers out there. Sovereign was only a vanguard. The Reaper fleet is yep. still coming. Hundreds of ships, maybe mm -hmm. thousands. And I'm going to find some way to stop them. Remember, Sovereign said their numbers will darken the sky of every world. I I'm guessing that's probably thousands, if not maybe millions. Shepard's right. Humanity is ready to do its part. United yep. with the rest of the Council, we have the strength to overcome any challenge. Hmm. When the Reapers come, we must stand side by side. We must fight against them as one. And together, we will drive them back. Well said, Anderson. I feel like I'm ready to run through a brick wall for him. And now we have the epic game ending pose. To show that we beat the game and as we see the Normandy in all her beauty and glory fly off into space with Joker and Shepard and everyone else on the Normandy crew at the you know on board we now reflect as we give credit to where credit is due to project director Casey Hudson and pretty much everybody else at Bioware one of the best game developer studios in the world, in the video game industry. I mean, the immense credit I give to everyone there. I, I cannot speak highly enough about uh, this the, the development of this game, of this franchise. Just everyone that was involved at Bioware. C credit to everybody. Mwah, mwah, kisses and hugs and everything. All just pats on the back and handshakes and just everything all around. To, all credit to everyone there. Uh, executive producers and animators and of course the amazing voice catch cast which we will see the names of here soon in the credits and uh, I had to turn you know I turned it down because I'm not sure if I'm gonna get one on this song as well possibly but yeah I want to take uh, some time obviously to talk about this game during the credits here and uh, the credits are gonna be a little different if you're used to seeing them a certain way on the 360 or PC version that's because this is the PS3 version didn't come out until December of last year, and uh, uh, that's because this game was originally a Microsoft-only published game, of only on the 360. So, 
uh, when you started the game, it actually would include saying uh, Microsoft Studios or, or something like that. So, uh, but uh, Edge of Reality also helped uh, had a helping hand in making this uh, possible for the PS3. And uh, I mean, years later, this game came out back in I think it was 2007 or 2008, and years later, it still is a phenomenal game. Uh, I mean, obviously, the the biggest drawback for me is the amount of bugs in this game. And there were... You guys saw it firsthand. And uh, this game froze on me, like, three or four times. And there were just bugs that... Some of them looked ridiculous. Some of them looked hilarious. Uh, just graphical bugs that all of a sudden just made you go, what am I looking at? But other than that, I mean, some of the other things, like, you know, the presentation, it's beautiful. Uh, the visual... Um, uh, graphics are just great even for its time back then and you're gonna see in two and three they get so much better you're gonna see how much better it looks as the years went by and they uh worked on the second third game even more than the first and uh you know just uh absolutely uh, phenomenal well done the music is great it really gives this sci-fi feel to it and that you're in an epic uh, space conflict to try and save the galaxy and just the, the whole setting just it's the atmosphere is just great the way that you meet all these different species and get to you can learn about them just so well done it, it, it i can't speak enough about about that aspect of it and uh as we i, I think we're about to see the uh cast here uh yeah here we go mass effect cast steve bars rex great kimberly books was great as ash keith david of course the uh, as Anderson, Seth Green as Joker, Jennifer Hale as Femshep. You didn't get to hear her, but she is a great Femshep. Lance Henriksen as Hackett, Allie Hillis as Liara, Brandon Keener as Garrus, and Mark Mir, great job as Commander Shepard. Uh, Liz Sroka as Tali, Raphael Sparge as Caden. Um, just, a, just a phenomenal voice cast. Just everybody did such a great job. Not just in this game, but you're gonna you're gonna see in here. In the second and third game, which I will be playing eventually here on this channel, uh, I'll be importing uh, this Shepard into Mass Effect 2 for a continuation of his story. And uh, I hope you stick around as uh, we see, yeah, Mass Effect trilogy. And uh, I hope you guys stick around for all for the second and third game uh, to see how his story turns out. How does the story of Neek's Shepard turns out? And that's one of the great things I love about this about this uh, trilogy is how you're able to uh, determine how your the character that you created from the very beginning, you get to determine how his his or her story turns out. And uh, by the way, I mentioned Jennifer Hale. She does a great, as we call her, Fem Shep, or Female Commander Shepard. She does a great job. She's probably, she may arguably be the best female voice actor um, in, the, in the video game industry. And um, Mark Muir, of course, is uh, fantastic as well. And, um... I would encourage you if you want to, you know, see how good she is. There are there are a few a pretty good uh, female uh, Shep or Fem Shep playthroughs out on YouTube. Um, I think uh, Magic Lorelai has a very good one. She's working on, on number two right now. Um, Kriana, uh, I, I think she did all three games, and um, she does. She had a great Fem Shep playthrough, and I think there are a couple of others. Uh, you guys, uh, you know, I'm sure you can find them on your own, but um, just such an amazing job all around there's just so many great things about this uh, i just saw that work went into it and it was put the time and effort it, it, it was just it, it's it's great to see a, a great quality of work um have a payoff like this where you see it's so much there's so much work put into it and when it's done so well and it comes out so well as a final product uh, not just for this game it's alone because this game alone is great on its own, but as you can see, it got better uh, as it went on, which is understandable that uh, when you start off with something, you don't know how it's going to be received, um, how it's going to turn out. And this game was so great back then that uh, everyone couldn't wait for the continuation. So Mass Effect 1, just great in all areas, great presentation, great atmosphere. Uh, gameplay was uh, not as great as it ends up being later on, but that's because it was more of an RPG than a shooter. And um, you really, you know, as you guys could see, I spent a lot of time uh, messing around with inventory and people's armors and weapons. And uh, in that aspect, it was definitely more of an RPG here. And um, 
as we see more of the uh, Mass Effect cast. Yep, Jennifer, you know, female computer, Simon Atwell, Jennifer Hale, Mark Neer. So, uh, <laughs> a Fred Tastasor, Sior, how are you, you know, as both Balak and Saren uh, did a great job as well. There's just so many people to, to the credit that gave uh, did a great job, and of course all all you know rights and credits go to Bioware, EA, everybody that had a hand that was involved with the, the making of this game. Uh, I can't speak highly enough about all you know those people putting the time and effort, and also then later on showing that they actually that they really did care not just about their product and their game, but they cared about the fans and how the fans loved it and reacted to it and um, how great the fan base has grown and how much they, they love and admire uh, the characters of this game. I mean, I've never seen characters of a game uh, more loved and admired than the characters of this franchise. Uh, especially, you know, and the voice actors, we, you know, we, we see them, we, you know, we, we see them do things for the fans. They're just such great people. You know, you can see some videos of them just hanging around with them, just talking to them, just great all around, you know, and, um, so, so in all the different aspects of how you could create a game, presentation, gameplay, um, visual and audio, and, you know, story, just all these different aspects to it, there's, it's, it's just so, it's so great. And um, it's obviously the kind of game that would demand multiple playthroughs, which I have done, which I have uh, tried. And uh, if you guys ever want me to uh, do a renegade playthrough of this game, or you know, even as a, a femship, if you want, uh, go ahead and let me know in the comments. And uh, you know, if you if enough people really want me, want to see it, uh, I'll I'll be more than happy to do it. I know, I, this is the kind of franchise I never get tired of playing it. I never uh, get you know. No matter how many times I play it, it's still fun. And sometimes I still find things I didn't find before. So as the credits come to a close here, of course, uh, a big thank you to uh, the people uh, that made this, of course, you know, with Epic Games and uh, uh, Bioware and, you know, EA and uh, even Microsoft Studios when they first published it. So, uh, so I want to thank you guys for this playthrough, for sticking around. If you did stick around from the very beginning, thank you very much. And I uh, hope you guys will be able to uh, stick around for uh, the continuation of the story when I continue this here on Papa Nix, um with Mass Effect 2 and then eventually with Mass Effect 3. So thanks for joining me for, this play for the Mass Effect playthrough, guys. And as always, to be continued.